All right, tick down for a second. I went through on YouTube and for the past, what is it? <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't even count how long. Uh, let's see. I went through some of Life of Rio's videos. I went through some of Nightmare Frame, I Flynn, Lone Wolf, Tactical Potato, Adi M. Fav, however you pronounce his YouTube name, and Retalius. And it's just a few of the videos I've went through. And I keep thinking to myself, is it even worth it to say anything? Because D isn't listening to anyone. We all know they don't play their game. <clears throat> we all know they push for fashion frame. We all know that fucking D. Scott's a fucking moron. We all know that every time something gets popular, popular, a lot of players are using it in the game, it gets nerfed because D doesn't care. They don't want to address the real problems in the game. They just want to slap a Nerf Band-Aid on it. We all know that once you get past, yay, so many hours into the game, once you get to such or such and such mastery rank in Warframe, it doesn't matter. Mastery rank doesn't fucking matter. It's just, it's a mobile grind fest. It's becoming more and more similar to something like um, Clicker Heroes, where you just fucking click a button for a number to go up. Or Cookie Clicker, where you, you click a button for a number to go up, and, and you buy something in-game that automatically does it for you. And it's becoming more and more like like fucking Elder Scrolls Blades. Everything, you, you go and you get the resources to put into your space 3D printer. And then you have to pay your fucking printer to, to work. And it takes days. Fucking days. I've already given this, ad this idea. I've already fucking went into DE's community forum post and, and given them a fucking multi-page dissertation concluding with don't nerf anything. Reward people for achieving mastery rank. Reward the, the effort put into the game. Gains for effort. That um, at least three other YouTubers who do a lot of Warframe content have said. The game is a shit show grind fest. And every update, it gets grindier and grindier. Last hotfix that came out, the last update, <coughs> changed the meta again. The, the so-called meta. Reduced what what damage type status proc was it? Well, I could take my Kuva Agris and I could at twenty thousand damage overall output on it, I could one shot a a fucking level one hundred bombard, corrupt bombard or fucking uh, heavy gunner. I, I could one shot those. Then they updated it to where it do it doesn't proc as much damage. So then I, I reworked my Kuva Agris, got it up to like 45,000 overall damage. And it still didn't one-shot him. 
They're making it more and more grindy. They're not rewarding people for playing the game and achieving a higher mastery rank. There's no incentive to go to a higher mastery rank. And then the helmet system, they, they touted it. They claimed, oh, it's going to be for veteran players. It's going to be for more experienced players. Then they go off and nerf the fucking abilities you can get out of it. Just because they're more popular, because more people use them to do more damage. Because you keep nerfing the amount of damage people can do to begin with. You see the cycle of logic you go in NDE? Quit bitching about people doing damage and just fucking let them have their fun. That's one of the things I told you in that dissertation I sent to you. Let people have their fun. Let them achieve the power of fantasy. Let them get up to where they can one-shot a fucking boss. Quit adding the fucking invincibility bullshit into it like you did with, uh, what was it? The Jackal. Three stages of invincibility. Three fucking stages. Yeah, okay, well, you could have put that particular version of the Jackal into your fucking hard mode. Into your steel path. No, you didn't. You put it across the board. So it's more of a shit show in Steel Path. Nobody wants to do that shit. And instead of... Instead of fucking incentivizing, you know, giving a proper fucking reward for playing Steel Path, what do you do? You fucking nerf the damage that players can deal across the fucking board. What the hell? Isn't a higher difficulty setting what you intended still path hard mode for in the first fucking place? Why the hell are you nerfing things in regular game mode? Why are you buffing enemies in regular fucking game mode? You're killing the fucking game. You're turning everyone against you, DE. Why players with so many hours leave because it's a grind fest shit show that's not a negative slant that's the fucking truth it's a grind fest a shit show every time a youtuber brings out something and says look at this I spent hours working on this and fine tuning it so that everyone can enjoy using it. D swoops in and says, Fucking nerf! And then Bitch Steve wants to joke about nerfing on stream? Fuck you! Bitch, please! Fuck yourself! You're a fucking idiot. Every fucking time that a YouTuber brings out a video talking about this item has been fine-tuned, or this frame has been fine-tuned. This ability, these mod combinations, this weapon and, and mod and frame combinations. So that you can play the game. So that you can get through the grind. So that you can achieve what you intend as a player. So that you can just play the fucking game. DE comes in and nerfs it. Everyone who plays the game is sick of it. Except for the little trolls on your forum who instantly say to go nerf everything. That's the problem with some of the community. There's this really small niche crowd of trolls who've managed to worm their way in and they're saying nerf it, nerf it, nerf it. Ignore that shit. Another idea I had Every mastery rank, or every five levels of mastery rank, wh whatever is easier on the game's code for the hardware it's run on. It's probably going to be a bracket of every so many levels. Tune it to where your drop rate for everything increases by either a half a percent or one percent. So that at mastery rank 30, you're either getting an extra 15 percent drop rate on everything or an extra 30 percent. 
fine tune it to where every weapon you have increases its stats. Let's take the Stug for example. The Stug. It's a status weapon with 0% status. Fucking zero. Increase that shit every mastery rank. Or every five mastery ranks. Along with increasing it for every one of the weapon's individual ranks. So you start off the weapons rank zero? Okay, fine. You get zero percent status. Along with all of its other base stats. They all increase every rank. So that every weapon can become viable through leveling it up to its maximum rank. In conjunction with mastery rank. So what? players are going to do absurd amounts of damage. Let them fucking do it. What the hell's your problem against fun? The unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness in accordance with the fucking United States De Declaration of Independence. It wasn't worded just for one fucking country. Yeah, the original wording was all men are endowed with certain unalienable rights and that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, okay, America, you need to fucking update that. All living beings have these irrefutable, undeniable rights. Because saying all men is non-inclusive. It's shallow-minded and narrow in perspective. That shit needs to be updated. I'll get to that later. But how it applies in gaming. The unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. Players playing the game how they choose to. Yeah, I can say the entire industry's fucking that one over. That's high treason. That's grounds for public fucking execution. It really is. That's the truth of it. Those are the legal facts of the situation. That's the truth. So what? Players are going to do absurd amounts of damage. If any player manages to mod card a weapon and achieve a level of damage to where they can one-shot that jackal with its three phases of invincibility. Let them fucking one-shot it. Let it be one-shottable. Fuck the three phases of invincibility. Fuck that shit. If you achieve a level of damage and you can one-shot it, let it be one-shottable. That is a reward to the player for achieving a level of power and ability and skill within the game. Or, you know, DE, are you just the enemies of fun? Because that's what you're doing. That's what you're saying with every nerf that you bring out. You're saying, fuck fun, fuck your right to have fun. We don't care about you. Those are the exact words you're saying to everyone with your actions. And the old axiom goes, words, words are cheap. Actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. And for the last three days, I just haven't even bothered even logging into Warframe. When, why should I? They're just going to nerf everything that... Like Tigris and its other two variants. Tigris, Tigris Prime, and Sancti Tigris. Nerfed. Just seriously. You know that chart you had where it looked like that and then 
as soon as you hit 100% status it was way up here seriously you didn't even look at anything other than a chart you didn't look at players what situations they apply it to why they applied it how they applied it you didn't look at that you didn't even play the fucking game you just slapped a fucking nerf on it just like the prisma angstrom used to be able to hit a hundred percent status not the regular angstrom you nerfed that too now with the same fucking setup and a fucking ribbon in it that increases status proc. I'm only at 88%. And, th and then after that, you uncapped it so that status could go above 100%. Yeah, fuck you, DE. Every fucking update is a nerf. Stop joking about it. Stop listening to the trolls telling you to nerf something. Ignore that shit. I went after a completely different weapon after they nerfed the Tigris. Then I found one. Then they nerfed that. Then I went over and got a Kuva Agris. Now they've nerfed that. And they didn't just nerf that with the that last thing they did. That nerfed the, the status procs across the board. Board. They nerfed every fucking weapon in the game with that. And they keep nerfing everything. They, they keep decreasing the viability of what the player can do. They keep decreasing the player's ability to play the game. all of us as players we, we go in we find something we find out how the mechanics work we start mastering them like some players did with Ivara stealth farming intrinsics using the actual game mechanics as intended and mastering the game mechanics and DE comes in and says nerf the fuck is your problem, DE? You're the enemy of fun. Along with the rest of the entire gaming industry right now. The enemy of fun. I don't give a fuck you're sitting in Canada. Those unalienable rights, that pursuit of happiness applies to you too. And if your pursuit of happiness is nerfing everything and laughing at everyone... That's a direct and blatant violation of my and every other player's right to the pursuit of happiness. If you exercising your right to the pursuit of happiness is being a bitch and laughing at everyone and trolling, and it's infringing upon everyone else's right to the pursuit of happiness, then your rights are forfeit to our fucking discretion. Fuck the courts. Fuck legality. If you infringe on someone else's unalienable rights, all of yours are forfeit to their discretion. That's the way it always is. That's the way it's gonna be in about eight months or so. Globally. Because if you hadn't noticed... The world's economy is fucking falling apart. Yeah, okay, they're, they're going to make a new currency and, and reiterate that. But everything's got to fall apart before it can be rebuilt. The social, political, economic structures of the world are falling the fuck apart. And all the bullshit you're doing, people aren't going to forget it. All the stress that literally the entire world is under. Psychologically speaking. The mind and the brain can only take so much stress. 
it's not some sort of infinitely powerful thing. No one can take their beyond their stress tolerance. Once you go beyond it, it snaps. Then you wind up with things like the YouTube headquarters shooting. And that? That already looks like a fucking joke. Because of the riots going on. And yes, everything I'm saying is directly and indirectly relevant and relative. Because the amount of enjoyment people get from playing a video game to forget the stresses of the world, to let that stress go down from their maximum tolerance levels. That's a thing. That's a truth. People are seeking to leave the stresses of the world behind because there's so much bullshit going on right now. And YouTube, hey, yeah, fuck your algorithm bullshit. I'm telling you. I'm telling everyone. You can't handle what your maximum stress is being broken beyond. Because it just makes you snap, mentally. You just... Your brain shuts off. And you go into a... A state of being or a, a mode in your brain that just says I have to immediately relieve this insane level of stress by any means necessary <clears throat> and what happens when people snap is most of the time it's in insanely and extremely violent So, think about it. You play a game to push your stress away and make it diminish so that you can tolerate all the bullshit going on, right? What happens when you go into a game and every update the devs put out is making it less fun? That builds more stress. That's one of the big problems in the world right now. The first and foremost is the overpopulation problem. Humanity has overpopulated the planet massively. You don't have enough resources to go around. That increases stress a lot. Stress arises as a symptom and a secondary problem from that. What do I do as a gamer? I fucking play games. To get rid of that stress. To just let it fuck off and melt away and return to the nothingness that it belongs in. The job and the responsibility <clears throat> of every game developer making a video game, it isn't to make money. It isn't to have a bunch of players playing it all the time. Fuck that ideology. The, the money comes in just as a side effect of a good game serving its purpose in existence. The job and the responsibility that DE has making Warframe is to that unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. D, if you can't do your job, which it looks painfully obvious to everyone that that's the truth, you can't do your fucking job. If you can't do it, get the fuck out of the industry. Go flip burger patties at McDonald's. Get a different job. <clears throat> Because you can always be replaced with someone who gives a fuck about their fellow living being to do that job properly. 
the reason players are leaving Warframe is the same reason that a lot of other players left a lot of other games. It doesn't do its job, its responsibility, its core purpose for existing. It doesn't support their privilege, their right to the pursuit of happiness. They don't enjoy it. And looking at Warframe specifically, it's simply because there's no incentive to play the game. I mean, how many people, you know, played Railjack and decided, I'm not going to get anything from this island of content to use anywhere else in the game? Fuck Railjack. How many of you decided, fuck Railjack because it wasn't worth it? Just go ahead, put it in the comments. If someone has already put they left Railjack for that reason in the comments, just click like on their comment. That way it consolidates all the information as simply in one place as possible so that, you know, when, when D is going to be lazy as they, they are or someone else is going to be lazy, they can see it plainly right there. How many of you don't even bother with the the large maps on the planet side surface because it's not worth it? The, the rewards for it are remedial, low-level garbage. Th there's not enough in the game to say it, it's it's worth going into this so-called open world area and, and doing anything. I went in the fucking Heart of Deimos. I'm just going to call it the Tentacle Toilet Bowl right now. I went into the Tentacle Toilet Bowl and got to rank whatever of the, the fucking flower pot family tree just to get Helmuth going. The big wall of flesh inside your orbiter. And now I'm just throwing frames in it. Just to get it done with. Because I no longer see any content drop. I no longer see any update as anything other than a useless meandering grind fest to get through and get done with. And ignore after it's finished. Just... What's the fucking point of it? It's not going to increase my ability in in the game to go off and do more damage. It, it's fucking pointless. And the absurd level of grind to get through the so-called bounties to get these mods cards that they've thrown in. Well, fuck that. I can just, you know, spend some platinum and buy it from someone who's uh, in the fucking partner program and, and buy it from them. Why the fuck even play the, the content that they've put into it? Because it's not content. It's a tired rinse and repeat formula of grind. It's just a, a fucking cookie clicker. Click, click, click. It, it's, it's pointless. Meandering. Dim-witted. Half-witted. Whatever you want to call it. It's boring. And I don't give a fuck about Fashion Frame. I'm not going after all the, the Fashion Frame stuff. I, I just like... Why, why bother with that? So what? For me... For me... Th this may not be for everybody... It may only be a small niche group. But right now I'm talking about for me. For me. Playing the game. 
is a combination of I want to get to the point where I can just one shot things and not worry about it I want to do that but I don't want to do it with the meta system I want to do it my own way I want to be able to jack up the damage numbers whether it's status or critical in my own way to where I can one shot everything that's what I want to get up to I don't want to be forced to choose this particular status combined with this amount of critical and this amount of whatever else and have to do a, a, a infested uh, abilities and, and a fucking combine it with a rhino roar just to get enough damage to three shot an enemy when my fucking Kuvagris is doing 30 and 45,000 fucking damage overall. I don't want to do that shit. I want to slap the mods I want into it. And max out the damage potential that I want. And one shot things that way. So, here's another idea. Why not put a cap, a bracket that caps off. When you exceed yay so much damage of this type, you're one-shotting these enemies. Yeah, sure. Well, with certain enemies, it'll have to be a higher or lower. Like when they infested, it'll always be slash damage. At a certain amount, it one-shots them. They don't have armor. They don't have shields. With the Grenier, it'll always be <laughs> higher because you have to break through that armor barrier. With the Corrupted, it'll be higher than the Grenier or higher than the Corpus because you have to break through their type of armor barrier. At a certain damage number, just goes up and then it hits that number and then beyond that you're one-shotting them and sure that'll scale but make it by a minor amount each level that way the longer you go in those endless mission types the more difficult it becomes and on top of that throw in some scaling for the player to scale up with enemy level. Not with ability usage, but just enough to where it keeps it at an even rate. So that if they've managed to do that just at the minimum to hit that level where they one-shot everything so that it keeps going up equally enemy resistance at this level then you one shot them if you go beyond it or hit it player manages to go equal or higher keep it scaling at the same level and if that's too difficult take out the fucking in infinite enemy progression that'll simplify the game's coding that'll make it easier Why am I still giving an idea of how to make the game better when I know D's just not going to listen? Everyone's sick of the grind. There's no reward for reaching a higher mastery rank. At a certain mastery rank, those affinity cap bonuses, whatever you want to call them, with factions and whatnot, those need to go the fuck away. <clears throat> I'm at Mastery Rank 25. I look and I see a Mastery Rank 30 or 29. <clears throat> and the only thing that goes through my head is, 
Okay, so you've managed to play with all the toys in the game. That's the only thing that goes through my head when I see someone who has a higher mastery rank than me. I don't think, oh, that's fucking awesome. You earn the power and the ability to have absurd amounts of damage output. To have this ability or that ability. You've earned that. Fucking awesome. I don't want to hang out with those people. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't incentivize me to reach a higher mastery rank. That's the same problem that you reiterated, DE, with Helminth. Nerfing it, reducing the mastery rank requirement. And then you still require this massive resource sink into it. You're not operating on logic. You're not even operating on basic mathematics. You're operating on whatever the fuck you think you want. But it's not working, is it? It's just pissing people off. Making them hate you. Making them hate playing the game. And whether you admit it or not, I already know you've lost a minimum of 30% of your player base. Since the time of... Oh, what update was it? It was one of those just after the Scarlet Butt Hurt. You keep nerfing everything, D. Stop nerfing everything. Stop decreasing what the player can do. Whether it's every five levels of, of mastery rank or every last individual one of them, increase the drop rate. Increase the player's capacity to do more damage. You know what? Fuck. Just put in a passive pool for, for each frame and weapon in the game. So every mastery rank, you get points into it. For every level of the weapon or the frame, or whatever it is. You get points into it that you can spend on increasing, decreasing, and adjusting the way the weapon or the frame or whatever piece of equipment it is works. So that players can take whatever they want to take because they want to and make it work the way they want it to work. Then you'll see more of those diverse builds. Here's an example. I play Necros a lot. I play with the Kuvagris a lot. I've already put in the necessary formula to put the Kuvagris up to rank 40. So each, each rank, give it one or two points to put into increasing its status or critical or damage or whatever. Whatever you want to increase in on the entire spreadsheet of the weapon. And each mastery rank, you give a baseline number of the, the same type of thing across the board for everything you've got. So for mastery rank one, I get one, two, one or two points into every passive pool for every frame and weapon I've got. So I can tweak it. So that I can go in and take a stug and actually put points into its 0% status proc. So that by the time people hit Master Rank 30, they've earned that power to one-shot literally everything in the game. So you get 30 or 60 points to distribute on that, that spreadsheet of stats for that weapon let's just go with the stug and focus exclusively on that for right now so mastery rank 25 I would either have 25 or 50 points to put into whatever I wanted on the stug and I'm sure it's fuck gonna go with status on top of the modding system that's already in place 
so I can boost that status, or I can boost the multi-shot, or I can boost the base damage. Or I can add a completely new damage type to it and boost that. One point to add the, the damage type, and the rest of the points that go into it boost it. Just fucking do that. Yeah, sure, okay. Players are gonna do some weird shit with it and put literally every status out of what? The four bases and the six uh, combos? Yeah, okay, fine. I would actually do that. I would literally have... Four... Four and six... What is it, ten? Yeah, I would literally have every status type on there. Just to fuck around with it. Just to have fun with it. Why not do that? Why not integrate that into hard mode and say, once you get to this planet, you, you get to unlock this so that you can use it. Or, or once you unlock Earth, you get this system opened up to you. All you have to do is go and talk to Teshin. Then it, it just gives it to you after you've done this planet on hard mode. Provide a fucking actual, legitimately actual reward for playing the game. And stop nerfing things. And something that I think you never should have done was remove fishing bait. Bring that back too. Bring back the permanent blueprints for that. We, I don't like the fucking resource sink and the grind. It's absurd. And on all the testing I've done, I've realized that shield gating is nothing more than a, a an excuse for decreasing the overall shield strength by 50%. Why the fuck give enemies shield gating? They don't need it. Everything below level 100 is a fucking low-level trash mob. Why? Why give them shield gating? Why nerf the entire status proc across the board when you made it a meta to begin with? Let people have that. Stop changing the fucking meta. Stop thinking that it's your game. It's not. Don't think that it's art, because it's not art either. It may have an element of art in it, but it's not art. It's a tool, a service, and a product that everyone uses to exercise and pursue and achieve and accomplish and have and maintain everyone's right and privilege to the pursuit of happiness. And if you can't do that, if you can't make the game appropriately to where it serves its intended function and purpose in existing then fuck off go get a different job stay the fuck out of the gaming industry it's not a matter of my opinion it's a matter of that's the truth of the matter if you don't like it I don't fucking care and that truth doesn't fucking care if you don't like it either. The only problem here is you. If you don't like the truth, then you're the problem. I'm done talking now.